Hello, welcome to Andy's Radio Review. In front of us, we have the CC Pocket from C Crane Radio Company. A company that's been around for a while, known for their quality radios. However, this one right here, this model I have, is a used one. I got it on eBay a couple months ago. I don't remember what month specifically because I know I'm recording this on November 3rd. And you can see the time I'm recording. I know I have to change the clock this weekend on it. One well, of my other clocks for the end of daylight savings time before my birthday on Monday. But. This is my model right here, and there are a couple of flaws on AM. I only bought this for the AM, but apparently the AM has been having a little bit of an issue. So down the line, I'm debating if I'm going to get another Texan, because I noticed my Texan does a better job when it comes to uh, the AM signals. And this is well on some fringe FMs, but this actually does a lot better on some fringe FMs with the wire that it comes with right here. So, what I'm going to do is go over the, well not every feature, but just the basics of this. So, you of course have 24 hour mode available on this one. A lot of complicated features that I can't go over in this video, but the important thing here is alert mode. Now, when this is turned on on the weather band, it will notify you when there is a weather emergency. And that's kind of a useful feature for the winter months here in New York City is last year we got pummeled with snow. And we were due for it. We were due for a very snowy winter, and it happened last year. And there was a lot of sh snow to shovel. So this would have been useful for, I guess, a winter storm warning. In terms of that, so this has the weather band. Another reason why I bought this. The stereo headphone mode is pretty amazing on this. This is coming from someone firsthand. I love the stereo headphone mode. Compared to Sony's over the years that I've had. And of course the Sony's just eventually die out on me. But so far I've kept this one in good shape. Kept it in a bag and well, it does pretty well. And I've had fun with this radio for the past couple of months. The one thing I always have to make sure to do it's the lock mode because I've had random moments when this radio turns on at the worst inconvenient time and I just don't need that to happen in fact I was at a wedding I took this with me to a wedding back in August and I had some time to do some band scanning uh, afterwards and uh, let's just say there was a moment when the radio was left on and I was not too happy about that so I had to put it on lock mode and you know, it helped. And I have to show you the top. You have your big power button. You have your volume up, volume down. Five presets, and there are a couple pages on this radio. I forget how many pages you have, but you can store a lot of stations on this thing. It's pretty amazing how many presets you can get. So I'm going to lower the radio for a second. I want to start off with the weather band. Fire Island Coast Guard. Temperature was 46 degrees. Wind was northwest at 7 miles an hour. At Jones Beach. Okay. Temperature was 46 So that's KWO 35, channel 7, which is the frequency VHF band 162.550. Now you can unplug this. Frost advisory in effect from midnight tonight to 9 a.m. Thursday. 
What? Temperatures as low as 37 will result in frost for... Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's uh, very cold tonight. But I'm very warm in my room right now. <laughs> I have the heat on full blast. <laughs> so you're hearing the signal getting a little bit weaker, but when I plug this back in, it fixes the problem. I just want to see if I can pick up another station. Yeah, let's see that. You have to be in a specific area to bit bit more stations. Oh, so I'm getting another station. That's very impressive. Impacts, frost and freeze conditions will kill crops, another sensitive vegetation, and possibly damage. Yeah, so now we're going to go to FM, do a quick band scan, start off with 87.7. Now, WNYZ just came back on the air, but for whatever reason, WNYC is not on right now, so let's just do a quick band scan. Okay, so here we go. Quick band scan. Alright, so there's WRHU 88.7. Like, uh, when August Burns Red covered Chop Suey. Okay, 89.5. Like, no Seton Hall University Radio from South Warren, yeah, New so Jersey. Wow, this skipped over uh, Fairly Dickinson Radio, 89.9 FM. I don't know what station this is, but I think this is Nassau Community College Radio. Human Fringe Stations it does a good job. Ninety one point five. Oh, skip ninety two point seven. There's a ninety two point seven. Ninety three point five from Westchester. I know this is a Caribbean station. I do apologize. I don't know why a lot of stations are getting skipped. Here is my local public radio affiliate WNYC ninety three point nine. This is WALK-FM from Patchogue, New York. I'm probably getting an e-skip tonight. So I know this is not the time of the year for Trapo. I randomly was testing another radio today in uh, my nursing home I work at. And uh, got an e-skip out there today because I'm on a higher elevation of the building. I picked up WHUD uh, pretty well today. There we go, WKJY from Hempstead. I'm not mistaken. So, I mean... Speak of WHUD, there it is. 
93.7 WHUD. Today's hits, yesterday's favorites. Your request on Night Rhythms, Darius Rucker is going to be at the Beacon for two shows in February. Here's Hootie the Blowfish on Night Rhythms. Wow, very surprising I'm picking up WHUD tonight. How about you unplug the antenna, see? That's why this wire, and I'm telling you right now, if you do not have the wire that C Crane gives you, because I had to purchase it separately, you are lost without this wire. And again, this wire does wonders, because my other radios just do not, outside of the Texan I currently have, they just don't pick up WHUD very well. Obviously, we're not going to play CBS FM. Hang on here. I think this is New Jersey 101.5. Listen to that. New Jersey 101.5. Now listen to that, that's Dave Bowers doing the weather forecast. He's normally on 10-10 wins. Yeah, I'll be leaving the station within uh, the next uh, couple of weeks. You should get your own podcast. I'm sure it'd be very popular. Wow, folks. So that's 660 simulcast at WFAN on 101.9, and you just heard a big announcement from... Steve Summers, legendary longtime host, he is leaving WFAN within a couple of weeks. Good for Steve. You know, he's had a good career uh, doing sports talk. Uh, so I'm trying to avoid playing music so I don't get claimed for copyright. Just dial pound 250 on your cell and say the bull to connect with Michael. It's America's funniest game. It's 107.1's coming in. Cash back on online shopping. Just trying to see if I can pick up WEBE. Thank you very much. Great days away. Great news. You don't have to live with mice or any pest anymore. Call 866-802-PEST. That's 866 I'm pulling the wire right now. <laughs> Question for you. How far away do you live? Mom? So you just heard John Tess. That was WEBE from Connecticut. Which, again, my text in... And the HDI pick it up pretty well. So, again, amazing with the FM. So now, let's go to AM. And this does very well with my locals. So let's just see if we can pick up something tonight. Kind of a partly cloudy type of night for DXing. Six three five or go to surround. There's WICC from Bridgeport. This might be WIP from Philadelphia, but I'm not too sure. No, in front of the car and behind it. Yeah, I'm hearing something on 640. Anything, because it does take... 
Yeah, I'm not gonna get W. <laughs> I'm not gonna get WSM from Nashville. That's there's no way that's gonna happen. There's something on 680. I'm kind of hearing WLW trying to scratch through from WOR, but again, stations are just too close to each other. And here's Suma Radio on AM740 from Canada. For the votes in some Democratic strongholds, I'll give you that. WABC Radio, Dominic Carter. And so Cittarelli and his team now is on. Hold on, let's slow this process. I enjoy Dominic Carter's program. He does a good job. And Rita Cosby does a good job late at night. As well, with her show. Only trying to scratch through on AMA 10. I think it might be a station from Canada. If I'm correct. Again here tomorrow evening for all of us at the PBS News Hour. Thank you. Okay, Okay, here we go. This is where the magic normally begins for me in New York City. AM 900 CHML from Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Owned by Global Media Group. Something's coming in on AM 920. Something on 990. Give you much more time. Get 30, gotta go. Thank you, man. Quick. Appreciate it. AM 10.30 from Boston. We're back tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. KYW actually comes in sometimes pretty well on this radio. Yeah, here we go, see? Prescription coverage. AM 1080, WTIC from Connecticut. WBAL from Baltimore. WT... A.M. from Cleveland. W.B.T. from Charlotte, North Carolina. Well, yes, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just wanted to quickly take a look at the band, but that's your idea of the 
CC Pocket from CC Radio Company. I recommend this radio. I would say yes, but risking it, buying it new, might have not been a good idea. But I mean, I'm happy with this, no question. But I'm going to conclude this video. So thank you all very much for watching. Until the next one, please take care.